Hello and welcome back to the Retro Perspective series covering each and every demo disc from the official PlayStation magazine. This time we have demo number 12 which is from November of 1996 and we're starting off with a bit of Crash Bandicoot. So the demo that you get with the PlayStation if you purchased um, a brand new PlayStation back in the day, demo 1 did have Crash Bandicoot on it. Uh, but it was sort of a slightly different version of a level. So I'm not sure if this demo is going to be a slightly tweaked version or whether it's going to be a different demo to that demo one. I haven't played this since playing the uh, remasters a year or so ago. And one thing that was said about the uh, remasters was that the controls were improved. Crash can only move in eight directions on the PS1. I guess they made it so that it could move in any direction. But in terms of the general clunkiness, like I never really found um, the original Crash Bandicoot games to be that clunky. Ah, yes, it is the... Uh... Oh, no, is it? Yeah, I don't think these crystals would be here if we were playing the uh, the proper game. So it is a slightly tweaked level. Don't really know why they did that, there must have been a reason. Maybe just, I don't know, to show off the full level I suppose, but I always found that when playing Crash, um, it was actually cool to see that kind of thing like the the crystals that hadn't been filled in yet because you got you got teased for like oh i must have missed something whereas you know the demo doesn't really show that aspect of the game because it just has the crystals already filled in i think that's actually uh a bad idea in terms of whoever made this demo so another thing about the remasters is um, this new level. Not a fan of the new level. Um, they sort of just made it ridiculously difficult in every single way they could. I actually almost finished it. Um, but there was one particular jump that I couldn't do and I tried so many times. And I even watched like a YouTube video of someone doing it. And the timing is just so ridiculously perfect like you have to be absolutely perfect to the millisecond um, and it's not really a standard jump you sort of have to like half jump onto a platform that's sort of spinning round and you need to hit it at, at the exact moment it's at like a certain angle it's so silly so i ended up giving up on the last level even though i'd like done everything else a hundred percent not my forte next sports games and especially racing games formula one i do actually have this and have played it and i'm not a fan but it does get good reviews in the magazines so maybe i'm missing something of course these games were the most realistic of their time all the developers were boasting like realistic car physics and tuning and all that stuff. I don't know who any of these people are. I, oh, I know Ferrari. I know that word. I know Mercedes. I guess we'll be a Ferrari. And I'm guessing X is Accelerate. Yeah. <laughs> Complete guess there. Oh shit, what have I done? Wait, am I swapping cars here? Back to car? Why can I look at other people's cars? That's so weird. Right. So I switched my camera 
to someone else's car and then my car just stopped I guess oh shit that's what I wanted to do switch my camera to behind but why is that a feature being able to look at <laughs> other people's cars I don't think um, there's any chance of me catching up now there we go, squares break. Thought it was, but it didn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, my, my steering has actually gone off a bit, which I believe is uh, due to my car getting damaged. I think I was drifting to the right a bit there. No, I think there's some sort of um, automatic... What's the word? where it kind of helps you along, steers you a bit. There's a specific word for it that I'm forgetting. <laughs> There's no, oh, wait, can I change gears? Yeah, I think I can actually change gears. So yeah, I've been playing pretty terribly. But my gears are also changing automatically as well. So there's kind of not much point. Like, I played Project Cars, which is actually really good, even though it's not my kind of game. I actually did a written review of it on uh, gamesnosh.com when I was part of that team. And uh, yeah, I gave it like an 8 out of 10. But that, you, you like really had to think about like when you were changing gears and stuff. So maybe if you tweak some of the settings in this game, you could get it more to that where it's like a bit more challenging. Oh, I'm low on fuel. Does that mean I have to... Um How many laps are we doing as well? Oh my god, I can't believe this race is still not over. Is this the finish line? Oh, I don't know, is that cheating? If this was like a... Uh professional race would that be cheating to uh, cut that corner like that ah that was the finish line shit I should have just carried on going <laughs> I don't know if I was last in the end there to be honest that was actually better than I remember from playing it just randomly one time um, so yeah I might give that give the full game another go at some point Don't be rubbing it in about the uh, whole 30 frames per second debacle. Right, next up is a pretty interesting one, Die Hard Trilogy. It's like three different games in one, so I wonder which game we're going to get. <laughs> there's like the light gun thing, there's a driving one, and then there's, is it a third person shooting thing? Can't remember. Ah, I thought it'd be this. Wait, are they good guys or bad guys? <laughs> I just automatically assumed I would be shooting everyone here. This is not 
about my day. Graphics aren't quite as good as like uh, something like Time Crisis. <laughs> Yeah, I shouldn't have been shooting those people at the beginning. Shit, what's reload? Ah, I just blew up a lot of people as well. Ah, so L2 or R2 is reload. I like how it kind of zooms in as you get, as you aim more towards the enemies. I don't remember Time Crisis doing that. But maybe that's uh, something they added due to you having to use the controller. It's obviously if you're using the light gun, it wouldn't um, be able to tell where you were aiming until he shot. General thoughts on this, because I've never actually fully played this before. Um, obviously I've played the demo, never played the game itself, but I am a lot more familiar with Time Crisis and just straight away Time Crisis has like an urgency to it and like moving around each time you get to move, it's like satisfying. This so far is just like kind of bland. It's like there's no urgency to anything. And even at the beginning, I was like shooting civilians and it just didn't really seem to matter much. Oh shit, is that like a grenade launcher I've got now? Does seem to be a lot of um, environmental stuff though that you can like, or maybe that's just generally that the level's falling apart as you go along. See, like there when those panels fell. I mean, Resident Evil Six don't even have that. Jesus. Far Cry Five and Six, you shoot something like there's no reaction. <laughs> Far Cry 2 did. Then they got rid of it for some reason. But yeah, like, there seems to be quite a lot of stuff you can uh, shoot and it'll interact with the environment. Whoa, shit. What happened there? I mean, I didn't run out of health. I don't know why that happened, really. Terrorists killed times 100. <laughs> I guess that's the scar. Uh, yeah, not many innocents saved there. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty bad. Yippee ki -yay. Choose your villains. <laughs> well, I got the high score, at least. <laughs> Don't know if that's... Uh intended on the demo that you would get the high score every time. Ah, uh, Broken Sword now. Nice. One of my favourite games. From the makers of the highly acclaimed Lure of the Temptress and Beneath a Steel Sky comes a brand new... Uh, don't you just get tingles when that music comes in? So good. Broken Sword. 
the shadow of the Templars. An innocent vacation in Paris unwittingly whisks young American George Stobart away on a mysterious and compelling escapade, which could change the fate of man. As George, you are thrown into the arms of intrigue as you uncover a sinister collusion which could turn the world upside down. Embark upon a trailblazing exploration across Europe and the Middle East, where the people you meet weave riddles around you. Who are the new breed of savage warriors? Who were the Templar Knights? This is clandestine. This is arcane. This is broken sword. The Shadow of the Templars. Seemed like they put like wipeout music over that. Um, <laughs> really didn't seem to match the trailer like at all. <laughs> and it's definitely not music from the game. Yeah, like I'd be interested to know where that music is from. If anyone knows, do uh, give us a shout. <laughs> Supersonic Racers. Uh, I believe we've played this one on a different demo, but I might be getting it mixed up with another racing game. Uh, we'll see. Oh no, definitely, definitely played this one. Uh, who should we be? Uh, oh wow. Let's be... Uh, Metro Man. Oh, I guess that's the level that we're going to play. Uh, refinery races, I suppose. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is. In fact, I think this might have been on three different demos now, but this game is not very good. Oh, and of course. X is reverse. Pretty sure that's happened to me every time. Triangle is accelerate. <laughs> Don't think played this level uh, on the other ones. Oh shit. Right, this game. Wow. I hate it. I think just having played the demo uh, a few times that I have is more than enough for me to to know that I do not want to play the full game. It's just like floaty as hell. I mean, I know this is a, a snow level, but I'm pretty sure it's just the same regardless. And I'm being lapped. Oh, wait. Am I first all of a sudden now? Oh, no, it's laps. Laps one of eight. But I'm sure we've... Oh. I'm sure we've done a lap. Oh no, maybe it means one lap left and I am in eighth place. Jesus. Uh, let's be this... Oh, there's two of them. Sloth and Martha. <laughs> I don't know if it makes a difference what character you pick, but... Right, we know that Triangle is Accelerate now. And if we have to play this demo again, surely I'll remember this time. Oh, this level is garbage. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It's like if you fall off the top, your car just sort of explodes and resets. Yeah, 
I was doing slightly better there for a second. Oh, even the sound is just terrible. Like, no cool music like uh, any good PS1 game would have. Horrendous, high-pitched skidding sounds constantly. The engines sound shit. When you bump into things, it makes like... The sound of like a cardboard box falling, I suppose. Yeah, this surely must be one of the worst games on PlayStation. Uh, and with that, sorry to end on a bad note, but that was demo number 12. Uh, and you have to reset the PlayStation to um, get rid of this demo, which, you know, <laughs> once again, <laughs> that's like a sign of a poorly programmed game, I suppose. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I've been Jake of The Retro Perspective, and I'll see you next time.